Hello everybody, this is Fabio from LEGO and today we are going to show you how to use properly the clean flow kit starting from the unboxing to the final casting. So this is the clean flow box and inside this packaging you can find the following items. A couple of graphite caps and the C-clips, 10 rubber seals, 20 of these orange leads and at the end you can find two steel discs. After we unbox the clean flow kit you need to assemble the base plate of the kit. So we need the rubber seal, the graphite cap, the C-clip and the steel discs. Putting them together you will obtain this. What we have to do now is to put the rubber seal inside the graphite cap, twisting it around like this and it will fit perfectly as you can see then you put this part inside the uh, steel disc you have to put to fix it at the, the bottom part using a tool like this inside here like this as you can see you cannot take it out now that our base plate is ready we have to set the flask so first of all we bring our wax trees. Here in LEGO we are using the screw system, but you can use all the system available in the market. You can use your own system, no problem. We need the rubber mold. Then gently we put the flask inside the rubber. You have to be careful to not damage the tree. And at the end we use the orange lid. This has to be set on the top of the tree and we have to be sure that this part perfectly fit inside the hole of the lid. It is very important that when you set this part, you have to push it gently. Do not hammer just with a little pressure and maybe you can just twist a bit if you want. It fits perfectly like this. If you're wondering to use flask like this with the reinforces, in this case we have a cross, the clean flow kit, the lid, doesn't work. As you can see, you cannot fit it perfectly. So the answer to this question is no, you cannot use this kind of system. And now a little bit of troubleshooting. One of the most important things using the clean flow system is to set properly the height of the tree. The usage of a too long main sprue can compromise the quality and the operation of the clean flow. Because once we put the flask and the lid as you can see, there is too much space between the flask and the lid. And also, the chimney effect and the axis of the main sprue cannot be guaranteed. On the other hand, also the usage of a too short main sprue is not correct, because once you put the flask and the lid, as you can see, the chimney effect is compromised. Last but not least, it is very important to prepare the tree properly. So, from the last pieces of the tree to the upper part of the main sprue, it is very important to leave around 1-2 cm in order to fit the lid properly. Otherwise, with a tree like this, that we don't have any uh, part of the main sprue, we are not able to fit the lid on the top of it. Welcome back everybody, we are here with four flasks, we just poured the investment, now we are ready to remove the leads. So we prepare two flasks and we are going to cast them tomorrow and another couple of flasks to show you which are the most common mistakes the customer are facing using the clean flow system. Okay, let's start with the two flasks that we are going to cast tomorrow morning. As you saw in the video before, we accidentally poured the investment in the middle of the lid, but it is not a problem at all because you can pour, of course, it is better if you pour in this part, but if some investment goes inside, no problem. 
Why? Because once we remove the lid, the investment that goes inside will come out like this. So as you can see, we take it out and here is what you see. Of course, then later we have to remove the excess of investment that we have on the top. Now that we have seen what to do, I'm going to show you what not to do. Like when you pour the investment inside the flask, you have to be careful and reach the upper part of the lid. Because in this case, once I remove the lid, as you can see, there is not the cone like the one we had in the, in the good one. And if we want to close the hole with the, uh, with the graphite cap, we will not be able. As you can see, there is no connection between the graphite cap and the hole here. While in the wood one that we have the cone, we will be able to close it properly and to cast our metal without uh, having the liquid metal going and go out of the flask. Another problem that you can face using the clean flow is when you remove the lid, if you remove it uh, without being careful, you can damage the cone and consequently you can ruin the casting. Now I'm going to show you what you don't have to do. As you can see, removing the lid like this, uh, you damage the cone and uh, the graphite cap will not close the system and once you pour the metal, all the liquid metal will flow out, will flow out. Welcome back everybody. Now, after the investment preparation and the burnout out process overnight, we are ready to proceed with the casting. So, what we usually recommend is to treat with some boron nitrate the base plate of the system. Why? To increase the life of the rubber seed. Okay, now that the base plate is treated, we are ready to cast. Now the casting process is complete, so let's answer some frequently asked questions that we usually receive. Many of you told me about this movement, and honestly this is not a problem, but if you want to avoid it, just using a ring like this in stainless steel or high temperature resistance material and put it on the base, you can avoid it. Now, how to guarantee the perfect alignment of the flask? So, putting from the top, you have to be sure to be in the right axe. But, of course, it can move. Actually, this is not a problem, because when the piston lifts up the flask, this will align itself. But, if you are not sure and you want to be in the safe side, we can provide you some of these fiber ceramic uh, uh, materials. And putting them on the top of the base plate, and then putting the flask on it, you can avoid that movement. How many of these fiber ceramics discs are necessary to avoid the movement of the flask and to guarantee the alignment? You have to try. Like for this, we need three of them. Usually three of them are, per is, are perfect. As you can see, the system is perfect. If you put only two, for example, you see that the flask now can move but also if i put one more if i put four of them i will have the alignment of course 
the flask will not move, but in the same time, I will not assure the complete closure of the flask. And once I pour the liquid metal, it will spill out from the bottom of the flask. It is very important to place carefully the flask inside the furnace. Otherwise, strong movement or incorrect can damage the flask. So this is the right way to go down, kind of a line and carefully. Just to be clear, you don't have to do this. The clean flow system is also available for machines that use flask with flange. Of course, instead of using the standard base plate, you have to use this one. The springs on this base plate guarantees both the closure of the chimney to avoid the spilling of the liquid metal while pouring and the sealing of the flask chamber to get the correct vacuum.